We're going to try to do this as a 30 minute practice so that you have this in your toolkit whenever you need to do Qigong, but don't have that much time. So let's begin just by stepping on Qi wherever you want in your practice room and have your feet at hip width distance and just move your body from left and right. Feel the weight of your legs, left side, right side. And then come into stillness, move your toes forward and back, the weight forward and back on the toes and heels. And coming to stillness, have equal weight on the left and right foot. And imagine your feet rooting into the earth, just like a big redwood tree. Knees are soft, never locked. Then tuck tailbone forward and down, facing earth. Tuck in belly, draw on the chin while lifting up the top of your head. Closing the bottom gate, the Hui Yin, tongue behind the upper palate. Rotate your shoulders, make space underneath the armpits. Make space between the torso and the arms for all the practices we do. So many meridian points there, reverse the direction. Feel your shoulders relaxing down the back. And coming to stillness now. Imagine your fingertips stretching all the way down into the earth. And then not moving a muscle, just using the chi. Allow your arms to float up now, scooping up earth chi in your tiger mouth, and then letting your arms rise all the way up to shoulder height or wherever possible for you today. Forming your hands into a tiger mouth, a palms with distance between your fingers facing each other, Relax your shoulders and bring the focus down to the base of the spine, the lower third. And let's begin by rotating to the left, using hips to initiate the movement as we make our best effort to circle to the left. And when you reach your maximum stretch, tuck in your tailbone a little bit more. Tuck in your chin while lifting up the top of the head. Feel your effort, feel your spine. And then relax, release the muscles holding your spine in place and naturally unwind about halfway. No effort. So making the effort as we circle to the left. Releasing with no effort as we circle back halfway. Gently closing your eyes now, taking all that light within and keep circling to the left, smiling to the lower vertebrae, gathering chi, and circling to the front. Imagine your arms floating on this ocean of light all the way up to your shoulders, and then circling to the right. Hips initiate the movement as we smile at the lower vertebrae and release the effort, spring back halfway, opening to the right, gathering chi in the lower vertebrae, opening lower vertebrae, visualizing them turning, collecting chi, and circle to the front, spiraling back to the left as we travel up to the middle of the back, opening the middle vertebrae, gathering chi, smiling at the vertebrae behind your heart, release the effort, spring back naturally halfway, thank you middle vertebrae, We love you, release, circling to the front, spiraling to the right, traveling up to the middle of the spine, smiling to the vertebrae behind your heart, relax with no effort. This is Wu Wei, open, making the effort, action, let it go, non-action. Open. 
receive the chi and circle to the front keep spiraling to the left as you travel up to the top of the spine the base of your neck opens receiving chi where it needs to flow thank you upper vertebrae we love you open and receive chi floating you to the front chi floating you to the right side as you travel up to the top of the spine the base of the neck opens gathering chi thank you upper vertebrae we love you smiling to the upper vertebrae collecting the chi circling to the front pausing in the center as you tuck in chin lift up the top of the head imagine entire energetic spine between your tiger mouth what does your energetic spine look like today imagine the perfection of the form your spine made of liquid light made of chi made of energy and circling to the left i invite you to chant along with me how la all is well and getting better how la to our entire spine together how la how la how la how la circling to the front coming to the center in stillness tucking in the chin lifting the top of the head feeling your feet wiggling your toes wiggling your fingertips harmonizing the entire body with chi you know each fingertip connects to an organ so just by doing this we create harmony in the body and move your hands down to hips now as we move into hip rotation so find a good spot in your practice room as you step on chi again. Feet are at hip width distance or perhaps a little bit wider. Um, it's the wider the stance, the easier the turn. So you decide um, for yourself. Every day is a new one to practice. Relax the soles of your feet and then squat down. 
to work on building your core strength and then tuck your tailbone forward and down to face earth. Tuck in your belly. Draw in chin while lifting up the top of the head and close the bottom gate, the hui yin, at the perineum. Tongue behind the upper palate, right behind the teeth. Your elbows slightly forward. Move your tailbone front and back, left and right. Every day being a new one. What kind of range of motion do you have today? All right. So let's make our best effort as we circle our tailbone to the left and then to the right. Imagine a bright white light on the tip of the tailbone shining down on the ground between your heels so that you make circles of light with every turn. Relax the soles of your feet, gathering up chi from the earth with this practice and releasing any stagnation, any blockage. Just standing here in a power stance reduces stress and cortisol levels. So let's begin circling to the left, moving your tailbone to the front, left, back, right, making circles front, left, back, right. When you're feeling comfortable, looking to the horizon, close your eyes and keep circling front, left back, right, front, left, back, right, making perfect circles, front, left, back, right, front, left, back, right, front, left, back, right, front, left, back, right, one more perfect circle, front, back, right, front, and bring tailbone back to the center, back to a neutral position. Close the bottom gate, the hui yin, tongue behind the upper palate, tuck in the chin, lift the top of the head. Let's reverse direction, spiraling to the right as you move your tailbone front, right, back, left, See perfect circles of light moving tailbone front, right, back, left, front, right, back, left, front, right back, left, take extra time any place where it's tight or sticky, moving tailbone front, right, back, left, front, right, back, left, front, right, back, left, keep relaxing your feet as you circle front, right, back, left, making one more perfect circle, moving tailbone front, right, back, left, front and bring tailbone back to the center, back to a neutral position, closing the bottom gate again, tongue behind the upper palate, tucking in the chin, lifting up the top of the head, connecting with your tailbone, swing only tailbone forward and then curl it up as much as you can as you tuck in the chin, lift the top of the head, feeling the back of the spine opening and swing tailbone backward, curling it up, tucking in chin, lifting by way, 
feel the front of your spine open, 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 and swing tailbone forward and up, and backward and up, forward and up, backward and up. Move only tailbone forward and up, backward and up, forward and up, backward and up, forward and up. Backward and up, forward and up, backward and up. One more time, swing tailbone forward, curl it up, tuck in chin while lifting the bai hui, and then let tailbone come back to neutral. As we take a moment inside the body, scanning, exploring, no expectations, just looking around becoming intimate with the insides of your body. And from the top of your head, lift yourself to standing. Move body gently. As we now work on some crane's neck, we'll do three rounds of crane's neck today with the goal of opening up the top of the spine, working on the seven vertebrae of the neck. So if you're standing, feel your feet come together, knees are together, and then tuck tailbone forward and down, facing earth, tuck in belly, draw in chin, lift up the top of the head, Closing the bottom gate once again, tongue behind the upper palate. Bring your hands right back to the hips, forming a tiger mouth there with your palms resting on the hips. All right, connecting with energy body as we do with all the practices. Let's begin by tucking chin deep into the chest and then lifting chin back along each of the vertebrae of the neck, tilting your head back as far as it will reach circling your chin to the horizon and pointing the chin down deep in chest tuck in chin along the vertebrae of the neck circling chin to the horizon pointing chin down deep in the chest lift your chin up along the seven vertebrae of your neck Head tilting back as far as you can reach. Circle chin to the horizon. Point the chin down. Deep in chest, tuck in chin. Lift up the top of the head as we reverse direction. Bring chin down along your neck. Circle chin to the horizon, lifting chin up as high as you can reach. Tuck in the chin, lift the top of the head and bring chin down along your neck. Circle chin to the horizon, lifting chin up into the big blue sky. Tuck in the chin, lift the top of the head and bring chin down along your neck. Circle chin to the horizon, keep lifting chin up into the sky. Tuck in the chin, lift the top of the head and let your chin come back to a straight neutral position, completing our crane's neck practice taking another moment to look inside your body and feeling your entire body, including your feet, your hands, transition hands from hips to prayer position in front of your heart for our bending spine series. And then with your feet together, lift up prayer hands, interlace fingers, and then lift palms up right above your head. Ideally hands are right over the top of the head, arms by the sides of the ears for good alignment. As we imagine the perfection of the form and work on this practice every day. So let's open up the side body by rotating the right palm up to the blue sky and right foot pushes into the earth, opening up the right side of the body and then left palm coming up, touching the blue sky, left foot pushing into the earth, open up the left side of the body, visualize space between every joint in the body and then come back at your own time and pace the right side and the left side. Keeping hands right over the head. We're not really moving from side to side. We're going straight lateral movements between heaven and earth. Our wrists making little figure eights as we spiral of the left side and the right side. And visualize chi lubricating every vertebrae of our spine with each effort. Palms facing forward, arms by the sides of the ears as we roll down one vertebrae at a time from the base of the neck. 
Visualizing light coming out of each vertebrae as gravity helps us go down. Palms face the earth or touch the ground. Knees are straight, never locked. Make any modification as you tuck in the belly. Lift up the Ming Nan to protect your core and bring your forehead to the legs. And rest your spine down and go deeper, forehead to legs. Relax spine and once again, forehead to legs. And then circling 45 degrees to the left as you tuck in belly, lift Ming Men, forehead to legs. Relax and go deeper, forehead to legs. Feng So, forehead to legs. And then come to the front and rotate 45 degrees to the right as you tuck in your belly, lift Ming Men, bring forehead to legs. Feng So, going deeper. Relax and bring forehead to the legs. And then coming to the front, as you circle your hands around Achilles heels or ankles, holding on wherever you can and bring forehead to the legs, relaxing spine down and going deeper, forehead to legs. And once again, bring forehead to legs, making best effort. And then circle your arms in front of the feet and roll up from the base of the spine, one vertebrae at a time, visualizing your spine in a column of light. And now standing erect, make large circles overhead as you undulate your spine and let the chi freely flow. Energy body opening in all directions now. Imagine your feet connected to the ocean floor. Let's all be kelp going with the flow, undulating our spines. Chi lubricating every vertebrae of our spine with each effort and bring hands overhead with palms facing down, pausing for a cycle of breath. Imagine the chi from your palms pouring into your energy body, your energy body made of trillions of smiley face chi cells smiling at you now. You smiling back at energy body and slowly bring your hands down above your head. Feel the chi condensing into the brain, the radiance of the chi passing through your face and throat through our thyroid, through all of our bones and cells and systems and organs and nerve endings, every part of the body harmonized with chi as hands come down along your side. Feel it into your body, move it freely and gently. And let's prepare for a little bit of Chen Chi now, starting with posture once again, feet are together. Knees come together and tuck tailbone forward and down, facing earth, tuck in belly, draw on chin while lifting up the top of the head and closing the bottom gate once more, the Hui Yin, tongue behind your upper palate. Rotate your shoulders, make space underneath your armpits and extend your arms 45 degrees from the body. Your hands are the same height as the navel. Relax the shoulders, straight elbows, erect your palms. This is our resting posture for Chen Chi. Two movements working all with our internal energy, pulling energy in through the palms of our hands all the way back to the shoulder blades where they kiss in the back, and then pushing Chi out from the shoulder blades where all the action happens through the palms of the hands and then pulling the energy back in and out so that we become Chi pumps on the top of our body, smiling into heart and lungs using the mantra Hao La for empowerment, for strength. Let me put on a faster beat as we begin this practice. Here we go. Smiling into your heart and lungs, let's Chen Chi. Closing your eyes whenever you feel comfortable.
smiling into your heart and lungs. Hold your arms still and steady. Relax the shoulders. Keep your elbows straight, palms erect. We'll hold this for one minute. Relax entire body, including the soles of the feet. Gently bend your elbows in towards your waist, letting your elbows touch the rib cage with your arms forming a straight line, gathering up all the energy from the horizon. Slowly bring your hands together right at the navel level and imagine condensing finding a big ball of energy, a ball of chi between your hands. And then opening, opening up your hands to gather more chi from the horizon. Source energy from the universe. Available to you in infinite quantities your arms straight, gather up the chi, condensing it between your hands. Gathering up universal chi and then opening to gather even more from the universe. Have your hands forming a straight line, your arms And then gather that big ball of energy, a chi ball between your hands. Then right in front of the navel, in front of the dantian. Take a minute or two to play with this ball of energy, circling your hands around the chi ball, bicycling your hands. Expanding it out to fill your body, your energy body. Not too much time to expand all the way to the Milky Way, but let's try. From energy body, your entire home, taking in the planet Earth in this wonderful ball of chi. Expanding out to the multiverses, 
playfully gathering energy from Milky Way and from Milky Way come back come back from the multiverse come back to planet Earth holding the whole world in your hands and from Earth spiraling back into the street where you live into your practice room. Entire energy body in a big ball of chi and continuously condensing this ball of chi down into your hands. And then gently placing all of this extra chi into the body. Visualize this ball of energy half outside the body, half inside Dantian, right behind the navel. And then gather all the chi into Dantian by placing your hands on Dantian. Men left hand first, women right hand first, one palm right on top of the other to close and seal our practice. And with hands right on top of Dantian, let's circle nine times in both directions. First going counterclockwise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, reverse the direction going clockwise. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Open your hands to the side. Move your body gently. Haula. We give our love and gratitude, respect, and hearts to the chi field, to all wisdom teachers and healers, and especially to ourselves for our practice of qigong. May this healing continue in every cell of our body. And for the chi field, may all of our intentions be fulfilled in this lifetime. And may all of our efforts benefit the greatest good for all, for the highest perfect. Perfect, perfect. May it be. Ha ha. How Highest purpose. All right. I nailed that one. So thank you.